Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Today I'm going to talk about chicken, but not as you know it. Fried chicken, but it's still moist and flavor packed. Natural flavors, of course, with that Ndudu twist. Do stay tuned. To achieve those three main components of your crispy fried chicken, whereby it's crispy, obviously, moist in the middle, mm -hmm, and flavor packed, natural flavors, of course, with that indudu twist. Let's talk about how to marinate it. Now, if you have been watching my videos, you will know about my holy grill, which is my ginger, garlic, onion, optional chili, and of course, my aniseed. The reason why I do love the aniseed, it has that licorice flavor and aromatic flavor that it adds to the dish. And chicken with aniseed, they're just like first cousins. So I got a packet of my chicken pieces, which consisted of thighs and drumsticks. I took the skins off the thighs just because I like things like that and I left it on the drumsticks because I couldn't be bothered to take it off. But then again, you can do that. And to that, I've blended my ginger, garlic, onion and aniseed. I did not add the chili this time. If I did, then it means that the mixture would have that reddish color. Anyway, so to that I'm adding about four tablespoonful to my dressed chicken and I'm going to be marinating this, you see. So of course I'm mixing everything together till it's well combined as I always say. So that's my step one of me adding my infusion into the chicken. But now I'm going to talk about my secret ingredient, the pièce de résistance. It's what creates that moisture after I've steamed and fried this chicken. Yes, you heard me right. And what am I talking about? Yogurt. Or better still, buttermilk. I do have an easy to follow yogurt recipe in one of my previous videos. And it's a must try because it definitely helps with this recipe. That's the main thing that helps with this chicken. Reason is, of course, chicken is protein. And by including yogurt or buttermilk, because it's acidic but it's mild it's not as acidic as i'll say just lemon or anything like that that can toughen it up but what it does is it creates pockets in the muscle structure of the chicken so that allows for the absorption of moisture and flavors into the meat so yogurt or buttermilk works perfectly but as i said i'll leave a link at the top so that you can make your own yogurt it's cost effective and i'll tell you what it's just delicious so this is the secret ingredient to this recipe it's best to marinate this mixture overnight in the fridge but in the absence of that if you can marinate this for a minimum of two hours that's just perfect the next thing I'm going to do is add some coconut oil to this because it's going to have that coconutty taste. You've got that aniseed there, you've got the onion, you've got the garlic, you've got the ginger. So this is now permeating and going into the meat. Now, the reason I'm using the coconut oil is because of that flavor that I need for this dish. And of course, the stock that's left, I'll be using it to make the chicken stew. The ultimate chicken stew, which is another recipe coming up. So yes, if you've not clicked that subscribe button, I think this is the time for you to click that subscribe button and the notification button. So that means that when I do upload any video, you are notified of it and you do not miss a thing. So after two hours, I've added two whole habanero chilies. Now these are optional. You can use one or half. The reason why I'm using the habanero chili is I'm going to be steaming this beauty. And the aromatic flavor of the habanero chili is just going to infuse into the chicken. And it's going to give it that residual heat as well that this chicken requires. So I'm steaming my chicken and all that infusion on a medium heat. 
for about 10 to 15 minutes. And this is just going to allow that infusion to take place. You see you. Now, this is the point that I do add my salt to taste. And this will be about seven minutes into your steaming session. If you add salt whilst marinating it, bear in mind that salt absorbs moisture. What we're trying to do is get this chicken to retain its moisture because I'm slightly steaming it and then I'm going to be frying it. And you need to keep that moisture. Yeah, under normal circumstances, one can fry it directly like from raw, but I prefer to do it this way. And then again, is the Guinean way of doing it. You know what I mean? Yes. So after 15 minutes, I can see that this is just beautiful. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my chicken out of the stock and allow it to drain a bit just to allow it to be dry. And this would prevent any spitting when I do try to fry the chicken later. You see you. Now, I am going to reserve this chicken stock because it's the best ever. You've got the ginger, onion, garlic, and you've got that coconut oil infused into it as well. And then the aniseed, which is just aromatic. And I will be using it for the next recipe, which is the ultimate chicken stew. Charlie, kake flavor, flavor ni. And it's a quick recipe as well. Now, of course, you have to use your preferred oil. So you need to heat that up. I'm using my clay pot here and once it's hot, I then add my chicken pieces. Now, because the chicken has been pre-cooked, between five to seven minutes of frying, your chicken will brown quickly, which means that you're going to end up with that beautiful crusty outer layer and it's still going to be moist in the middle. You see, you. this is not any other food. This is in doo-doo by far, far. So now let's have a look. Look at this. Yeah, that's looking so good. That's it. It's just perfect. And of course, I've taken the skin off. So you're getting that beautiful crust from the flesh as well. And as I said, do you have that choice of leaving the skin on or taking the skin off? And the drumsticks do have the skins on. So you've got that choice. However, the thighs, I've taken the skin off. But look at this beauty. Are you going to tell me this is any other food? This is not any other food. Oh, so now that we fried the chicken, now let's check it out. So it's going to be beautiful and crusty on the outer layer, which is so good. And let's open it up. And that is it. Look at that. Steaming hot anyway. And look at that moisture. Look how moist and beautiful this is. And you can see that crust on the flesh. Oh, wow. Now, all I'm thinking of is like some fried yam. Yes. Um, just having it on its own with some salad. Oh, yes. Yeah. Some, you know, grilled mixed vegetables. Oh, oh um, the charcoal roasted um, yam. I love that. I've actually done that for ages or had that for ages, may I say. But look at this. This is better than any other, you know, fried chicken recipe. You, I said this is a must-try recipe. And of course, when I made this, I also made the chicken stew. So I had the chicken stew with the etto, which is the fante fermented corn dumpling, which is just pliable and beautiful. And it accompanied it just perfectly. Now, of course, naturally, I will leave the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog in dudubaifafan.blogspot.com. I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat as in dudubaifafa. So do pass by and say hi. I hope I have given you that reason to click that subscribe button if you haven't done so yet and the notification button. What that means is each time I do upload a video, you're notified of it and you do not miss a thing. Until next time, take care of you, be nice, be beautiful, be a gorgeous self. And if you're ever going to change, change for yourself.
because loving yourself is the most important thing. When you do love yourself, you're able or you're capable of giving love and also receiving one. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Take care of you. Me love you. Mwah.